What is up lads, welcome back to the channel. So I get asked this quite a bit, how do you actually beat the legend challenge? Or how do you, how do you beat the AI on legend difficulty, right? Whether you want to get skill trainers, or whether you actually want to complete the legend challenge. There was one against PSG, there's one against Manchester City. And a lot of this is going to tie into the 352 wing back anti-meta video that I did, right? Where you're using Grimaldo and Lorente or any one of your choice that have that kind of like wide option going forward, right? Now, it is difficult if you can see the goal early against the Legend AI lads, right? Veteran Pez players will know that they just kick it up into another gear, man, where they just sit back and they just mop you up, mop all the pressure up, right? They're kind of like a Jose Mourinho team where they don't really come out and you can't really attack them, right? So it is paramount that you do get the first chance. If you do get that chance, you, you need to score it, right? Um, or else it's going to be very difficult to swing it around. Yes, obviously you can do it, but it is more difficult, right? So you will see when we are playing City here, you will see um, kind of how the flow of the game goes. So a lot of what they'll do when they have the ball is they will go very simplified. But when they don't have the ball, they're, they're basically on you like a rash, lads. They hound you, they pressure you. If you are not used to playing online, you will find the Legend AI difficulty very, very sweaty. You know, very try-hard mode. Um, people that play E1 or E1, I'm E1 on my brain, people that play Division 1s, um, matches and stuff like that are going to be used to this type of pressure when you don't have the ball, you know, or when you do have the ball, sorry. So it's all about kind of living off those scraps and getting a 1-2 here or there and then making your chance, you know, putting it away. And Collar never usually lets me down. He does make up for it in a few minutes, but that was the real killer for us there. If we scored there, we were going to be able to sit deep and do, you know, a little bit more passive gameplay, right? But this is kind of summed up how the Legend AI kind of set up when they're actually attacking, right? Now, obviously, different teams, different formations, all that come into it. But for the most part, the Legend difficulty will usually kind of Jordan Henderson it, right? They'll pass it sideways or backwards. Sorry, Liverpool fans. But they will. Like, they don't really go out of their way to attack you unless they have a very direct route, right? They'll usually, if, if you're just passive in defense, right, and you just don't really press them or, like, try and get the ball back really aggressively... They will do a lot of these passes where they go nowhere, right? This is how you kind of concede more chances or concede goals against them. It's when you kind of play them at their own game and you try and be very aggressive. Your AI will make mistakes, you will make mistakes, and then you're 1-0 down against Legend AI and it's very hard to get back into it. So what you kind of have to do is you have to be patient, you have to use the wit. The AI don't like defending against out wide, right? And whereas online, out wide doesn't really work as much kind of cut-ins like this really do work against the AI, right? So if you are going to be playing this and you want to get a win rather than three draws and you want to get those skill trainer programs, I definitely think there are some tips in this if you want to check them out, right? And it's all about a little bit of patience and putting everything that you kind of learn from this video together. It is easy enough to beat the AI, um, especially on legend difficulty, if you actually take your time and you process exactly how they're trying to play it, right? So again, right, they're going to pass sideways, then a big long loopy ball through, nothing going there, easily for me, easy, easily dealt with for me. And then we're just going to attack out wide. Watch the difference when I'm patient. Not none, I'm going to cut back. I'm going to cut back in again, and then they're going to foul me, right? So that's an early yellow card and a good kind of sign of where I'm going to go with the rest of the game. Again, we're into the seven to eight minute. We get a chance all the way back. They're going to be passing, passing, passing. They're not really going anywhere with the game, with the ball here, um, which is kind of what they'll do a lot of the time, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to let them have it. We're going to be very passive. We're not going to chase them. We're not going to bother, you know, hurting our fingers on the pads, on the buttons. We're going to wait our turn and we're going to try and cut in and get our chance when we get it, right? Now, you do need to be a bit patient. As I said, if you're used to playing with divisions and you're used to playing against division one, division two players in divisions, it is going to be difficult to have this kind of patience and this passiveness compared to what you would usually be taught online which is to get the ball back as soon as you can and hit them on the break right but you will see here with 20 minutes left 20 minutes gone I'm kind of in control of the game and the chances that I'm creating even when I lose the ball they're not really doing anything with it like they're not really going anywhere with it yes they'll put the odd ball in there um but they're kind of half chances they're not really building anything even when I start to make mistakes Yes, they're punishing me when they get the ball back in terms of possession and in terms of actually putting me under pressure. But look at this. Again, another big, long, loopy ball. 
a mistake and then we're on the counter again i make a mistake so it is kind of a different kind of gameplay experience than playing online that's one thing to get used to but if you can kind of weather the storm when they do have the ball right and you will concede chances if you can kind of weather that storm um, you can get a lot of joy out of playing out wide. So as I said, if you haven't watched that 352 wing back meta video, this is kind of a good a good time to uh, go back and watch that. But this is what it's all about, right? We get the ball central, then we're going to touch and go. As I said, they don't like defending kind of like these wide positions. Lovely ball into Messi. We're going to slap it across. It doesn't work. They'll try and clear it. Comes back to Lorente, who started the whole move. Little touch into Robbie Keane, and it's 1-0. Now, when, we're, when we are getting a lead, right, that kind of changes the game's dynamic a little bit. Um because it means that the AI have to come out and play a little bit of ball, right? So if this is your, going to be your cup of tea where you can kind of hit them on the counter, once you go out wide, and you can see here that we have got acres of space here out wide on the left flank, and it's from our central midfielder kind of type player, Eze, because we've touched and gone, uh, touch and go from the, from the kickoff or for the interception. We also have two players in the box that are target men for us, and we can just swing the ball in and hopefully get a ricochet or get a lucky break, which we do, right? So it's all about controlling that wide area, right? And even when we're ahead, right, you can see time and time and time again if you want to get out of trouble. Out wide, little touch, run on, touch again. Look at the acres of space that we have. That means that they need to come over. Kyle Walker needs to come over, leave gaps in the middle. We're going to cut back in. We can go out wide. We can take the narrow channel in. Lovely, lovely finish in here. If we had just got it a little bit lower or higher, it was just kind of no man's land. And what are we going to do again? Out wide again. We're going to recycle the ball. We're not going to panic. We're not going to play through the central channels. If there's something not on, we play backwards, right? We play Jordan Henderson FC football. And then we're also going to just get that overlap again. Literally showing the AI what we're going to be doing. We want Grimaldo on this ball as much as, as, much as possible. Um, we make a mistake here. We lose the ball, we get caught in the counter-attack, we're going to try and clo close this down a little bit more aggressively, stupid pass from them, a wayward pass from me, and then again we get the touch and go, and then we're back in again on that side. So it's all about overloading, that's what it's all about, overloading and overlapping um, the, the, the wide players. If they're playing a 3 at the back or they're playing a 4-4-2, you can do this, it doesn't really matter, right? Again, you've got risk and reward, but this is a lot of reward against the AI on Legend Difficulty. If you are struggling to play against the AI, um, and you naturally start to do a couple of these things, you will also find that you will be able to withstand a lot more pressure online if you're able to get that outlet pass, right? When you're playing in divisions, and a lot of this information is viable for that as well in other videos, and it kind of has crossover effect, you will find that if you are able to be comfortable on the ball and actually win possession cleanly, and then when you have possession, not get caught in possession, such as I'm doing here, one, two, all the way up the pitch, waiting for the runners. That's two one touch and goes. We're going to go for one more. We're going to give ourselves the option. It gets blocked off. We're kind of open at the back here now. You can see here, but they're going to go through the center. They don't really have anywhere to go, and we intercept it again. And then what are we going to do? Straight out wide again if we can. There we go. And Lorente is going to set up one more chance from the runners. Messi with a beautiful right foot finish. So if you are struggling with the Legend AI difficulty or the Legend challenges, lads, let me know how this goes for you. Basically play a 3-5-2, play out wide, loads of overlaps, and be very confident in possession. And look, the worst thing that can happen is you lose, and any game that you lose is always a learning curve. You know, there's nothing on the line here against the AI. You can just reload back up again. But trust me, this will stand here if you are able to beat a Legend AI press and get the ball out wide where you want it to go. Even if you're not a good out wide player or a good possession player, you will definitely benefit from having that outlet of saying, right, I can actually pass out wide here. I mightn't cut in, I mightn't cross. I still might go central and I still might play 4-3-3 meta or whatever. But it doesn't really matter once you're able to have an outlet. If you get used to having an outlet, this is a really good test for you against the Legend AI. So we clear that event. That is just a quick one uh, for you guys. I hope that it helps. Let me know if it does, and I will talk to you later. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.